Western Missionary Education in Northern Rhodesia Missionary education was one of the very first tasks that were undertaken by the first missionaries entered the country. Their first task was to teach reading and writing the vernacular language of the area in which they had opened their mission station. The next step was to start a school and teach the people the elements of reading and writing. Missionary Groups Before missionaries came to settle permanently in present-day Zambia, they had several abortive attempts to establish mission stations. Nevertheless, they did not tire but continued trying to penetrate the country. Frederick Arnott was one of the timely great missionaries of the pioneer period. Born in 1855, Arnott was the first missionary after David Livingston. Inspired by hearing David Livingston speak about Africa, he decided to help David Livingston in his work. At 24 years Arnott came to Africa and his aim was to establish a missionary station along the upper Zambezi River. He started evangelizing as he was going along the river before he could establish a mission station he had to seek permission King Lwainika. The Lwainika did not express excitement over the opening of a school due to the problems he had in his kingdom, he did not refuse Arnott to open a school. Arnott opened his first school in March, 1883 with an enrollment of three pupils all of whom were boys and one untrained teacher, among the Lozi people. He also opened a mission station under the name Christian Mission to Many Lands CMML. Despite the difficulties, dangers, hardships and apathy of the African people, the number of missionaries continued to increase. Another missionary after Frederick Arnott who stayed for a short time stayed in Western Province. Arnott was succeeded by François Coillard of the Paris Evangelical Missionary Society. Pems, who established his first mission station at Sashek in 1885 and at Sfula in 1887. Sfula remained the field headquarters for the Paris mission. He worked among the Lozi people and his first teachers were Basutos who accompanied him on his long journey from South Africa. The second missionary society to enter the country from the south were the Primitive Methodists. The group opened a station at Ngala, the ruins of which can now be seen in the Kefu Game Park, in 1893. Later on other mission stations were stations were established on the Kefu and Zambezi rivers. From an educational point of view, the most important station at Kefu which John Fell built and opened was a teacher training institute in 1918. Another group of missionaries that penetrated into northern Rhodesia from Tanganyika were successful and opened the first London Missionary Society, LMS, station on the lake shore of Tanganyika in 1883. Later they opened up stations among the Mambwe, Bemba and Lunda people. The most important educational centre Mburashi was founded in 1900. Furthermore, the missionary group decided to call in a lady missionary to take care of the women and girls' education. The missionary was Mabel Shaw who introduced girls' education in 1915. There came another group of missionaries from the Church of Scotland. The group was led by Robert Laws. Laws built the first Church of Scotland mission station on the shores of Lake Nyssa in 1875. Twenty years later, in 1894 he opened the famous Livingstonia Institute at Condal. In the same year, a mission station was opened, 1894, inside northeastern Rhodesia near Fife among the Namwanga people. At Shitambo where Livingston died, a mission station was opened in 1907 by Malcolm Moffat and Dr. Hubert Wilson, a grandson of the great explorer, David Livingston. On the other hand, an African missionary named David Kounder, educated at Livingstonia had begun evangelistic work in Chinsali area and his efforts led to the establishment of a mission station at Lubwa. Later in 1922, another mission station was opened at Chasefu among the Tumbuka people of Lundazi district. Later on, 
came the White Fathers who opened a mission station at Kayambi in 1895. Under the leadership of Bishop Joseph Dupont, the society expanded its activities. Bishop Dupont was nicknamed Motomoto, Great Fire, because of his dynamic leadership. After gaining a foothold among the Bemba people, the White Fathers succeeded in establishing a strong network of station throughout northern, eastern and Luapula provinces. White Fathers continued to stream into the envy of non-Catholic missionaries who even saw the coming in of lay brothers, a little later White Sister too set up mission stations throughout the eastern half of the country. The other society who were trying to match the White Fathers in numbers were the missionaries of the Dutch Reformed Church. Their activities were almost confined to the eastern province. The Dutch opened their first church in northeastern Rhodesia, now Zambia, in Maguro in 1899. Further, a chain of strategically situated stations covered the Fort Jameson, Chaipata, and Petoke districts. Other pioneer mission groups 1901-14 the Catholic missionaries came in large numbers as compared to the others. In the south of the country came the Jesuit Fathers. The Jesuits arrived at Chikuni Mission under the leadership of Father Joseph Moyo in Munz district and established a mission station in 1905 among the Tonga people. Another mission station was also opened at Kasasi east of Lusakar by Father Jules Torrid in 1906. From these stations other centers were opened largely in the southern and central provinces of Zambia. In the same year 1905, four days before the Jesuits arrived at Chikuni, an American from Indiana, William Anderson a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, SDA, church also arrived. He began building a mission station at Rusangu in Munz district. Subsequent expansion of the SDA activities led to the establishment of widely scattered station Niandala, Kawambwa, Kalebo, Chaipata and Senanga. Rusangu remained the most important center because of the education activities. Another group of missionaries who entered northern Rhodesia as an extension of their work are the Brethren in Christ Church in 1906. Two American ladies Sisters Anna Davidson and Adaringla arrived at Machar in Choma district of Southern Province. Due to lack of money and personnel, the Brethren in Christ only opened two other stations and could not go beyond that. Bishop Hine of the Umaka opened the first Anglican station at Mapanzar in Choma district among the Tonga people in 1911. Another station was opened in Msoro area among the Kunda people in Chaipata by an African priest. However, the Umaka did not give much support to the mission stations as they had done in Uganda. They only gave support to Mapanzar because of its significance to educational work which it wanted to develop. The other society which was the last to enter the country before the 1914-18 war was the Wesleyan Methodist Missionary Society. They opened a station at Chaipembe in 1913 under the leadership of Henry Loveness and Douglas Gray. Other stations were opened at Broken Hill, Alusakar and at Keemb in the western part of Lenge Reserve. Chaipembe was developed.